Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam Ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam أما بعد أحبت في الله something I've mentioned on countless occasions and emphasized and will continue to emphasize is the importance of good and righteous conduct and manners because if we want to be a part of bringing people closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they have to be accepting of what we have to say. And that only comes about through good conduct and manners in Dawah. Because I personally don't know of anyone who came to the Dawah to Ahlul Sunnah or came to Islam because they saw hor horrendous manners from an individual that they were treated poorly. However, with, with regarding with relevance to this topic or being relevant an actual experience I do know I do know of some people who were literally became enemies with certain Muslims and then they became Muslim once I recall in our masjid that we used to have over 20 something years ago and there were people next door painting and one of the brothers who had gotten out of prison had a had rough conduct and he was being arrogant with a non-muslim painter and they almost fought they almost fought right in front of the masjid i don't recall all the details of what happened later that very painter and i used to recall that with him when i saw him some years later he became muslim and that is from the ni'm of allah but that was not from deplorable conduct. It was not from being harsh and stern with the people. Likewise, you can see many people characterize because they have precedence from people with big beards, sisters with beautiful flowing hijabs that, and niqab that look like they're representing the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, representing proper hijab and strong iman but they have horrendous conduct so we know that they're only exhibiting a part of that of the deen and a part of what's required of them because that's required of them likewise the beard likewise the short garment likewise the hijab so as we know the prophet والسلام, said said there isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of a mu'min of the mu'min min husn al min than good manners. Good manners, good conduct. Adab. And verily Allah hates wicked and sinful speech. You know, those people who who are cursing and violent speech. Those people who only have backbiting and namima to offer you. Those people when you get around them you feel bad and it affects your iman in a negative way because all they have to bring to you is something negative something spiteful something wicked cursing and harming themselves and other individuals and possibly you so we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates those characteristics and the Prophet hated those characteristics 
And the Prophet ﷺ spoke with wahi, spoke with revelation. It wasn't from his desires that he mentioned this. And we see that this weighs heavy on the scale of the believer. So how do you expect to call people to Islam? But you're setting the worst of examples. How do you expect to call people to the Sunnah? And you're not exhibiting the Sunnah. You're exhibiting only some of it. You know, Vahir, the outward appearance. But yet, your conduct is atrocious. Even in the way you deal with those people you totally di differ and disagree with you will have a stronger impact and influence if that's your goal by having good manners and dealing with them in an amicable way. And this will be more in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam by exhibiting those characteristics, characteristics of righteousness. And that's because the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, when he mentioned, he sallallahu alayhi wasalam said, ma min shayin athkala fi meizan al-mu'min. He said there isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of the mu'min. So those are from amongst the heaviest deeds. And in fact, in this hadith itself, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam, ma min shayin. There isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the, of the mu'min. So letting us know, and in accordance with other adillah, that that is one of the heaviest things to be on the scale of the mu'min, is that righteous conduct. مَا مِنْ شَيْنْ أَثْقُلُ فِي مِيزَانُ مُؤْمِنْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ مِنْ حُسْنُ الْخُلْقِ Good manners. And so, Alhamdulillah, I think we, from a point of common sense, we know and understand that good manners is going to benefit us in, in all circumstances. Having proper adab. You usually have the upper hand in many situations, even in argumentation a lot of times. That, that's not a sign of weakness. It's in fact a sign of strength. Because the Prophet والسلام, said that that is a characteristic that you'll be rewarded for. Because it's a characteristic of the mu'min. So this is why the mu'min should strive their utmost to have this characteristic because it's a characteristic that is loved by Allah because it will be heavy on your scales and all of us are in need of heavy scales of good deeds. The Prophet ﷺ said there isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scales of the mu'min Letting us know that this husn al that the Prophet ﷺ is talking about what? He's talking about the good mezan or the good uh, beam on the scale of weighing the good deeds. He's not talking about your, your scale for bad deeds. There isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of the believer than husn al good manner. So, of course, that lets us know that this is on our good scale and that this is a trait we have to strive to impart in our children and we have to strive to impart that in ourselves it never hurts you to have good manners although it can be a test when someone has evil and wicked manners when they're disrespecting you that doesn't mean you're always going to be nice and you're going to take it on the chin they hit you you take it on the chin laugh but it just means that you're always going to strive your best to have the better and upper hand of good manners and good conduct. And likewise, avoiding the opposite 
which is the wicked and sinful speech because wicked and sinful speech is an attribute from amongst the attributes that are negative all wicked conduct is not just through speech but here in this hadith the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam mentioned specifically a, a, a wicked speech and we know that that is a, a, a means for us to be punished in the grave you will be punished in the grave for Namima this is one of the things the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was walking by two graves and he said innahum innahum al yu'adhiban wa ma yu'adhiban fi kabir the prophet sallallahu was walking by some graves and he said verily they're being punished and they're not being punished for something which the people perceive that is great so kabir and the 